We'll now balance an equation with carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens, C's, H's, and O's. For these, there is a specific order which we should follow. The first thing we do are C's, then H's, and then O's. So we do it in the order of C, H, and then O. That always works for these. First of all, we'll look at the C's. We have one C on the left and one C on the right. So the C's are already balanced. The next element we look at is hydrogen. We have four hydrogens on the left, only two hydrogens on the right. So therefore, we must put a big two right there. Four H's on the left, four H's on the right. Our last element is oxygen. We start counting those on the right. We have two oxygens there, and one times two are two oxygens in the water. That gives us a total of four oxygens on the right. To get four oxygens on the left, we put a big two right there. Let's just double check. 1C, 1C, 4 H's, 2 times 2 are 4 H's, 2 plus 2, 4 O's, 2 times 2 are 4 O's. So our equation is balanced.